Hello and welcome to the devotion for Wednesday, September the 16th, entitled, Chosen. Now, Sunday morning as we were talking about denial, we said that one of the ways that we get out of denial is when we walk in the light that God has provided. It said that people who don't want to face the truth of their life stay in the darkness. But God has called us to walk in the light. And then we talked about the fact that truth can set us free. But we said that the truth is not the stuff in our life that we've done. Those are facts. Facts can change. We talked about the fact that God's Word is truth. And that Word transforms us. Now, one of the things I want you to understand is that God has chosen you. God has chosen me. He has chosen to give His Son to make a difference in our life. And we need to understand the degree to which He has given of Himself that we could be changed. And I love this passage in 1 Peter chapter 2, beginning of verse 9, says, You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of Him who has called you out of the darkness and into His marvelous light. For once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. He's looking at your life. Think of your life. And he goes, you are chosen. You are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to me because you have come out of darkness and into my light. He goes, I have given you my name. I have called you by my name. You are chosen. I love you. Once you had not been a people, but now you are a people. Once you had not received mercy, now you have received my mercy. Scripture says if God is for us, who could be against us? the one that didn't spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, will he not also give us everything else that we need? We need to understand that we are chosen, that God has called us, he has placed his name on us, that he is for us, that he wants to watch over us, empower us, give us wisdom, change our life, make us whole, new. We have received mercy. You need to hear all of that truth that I just said as God's word to you. You are chosen. He is wor working in you. He is for you. He is behind you. He is looking for you to be new. So let's pray. Father, if this word is true and you said your word is always true, then you have chosen us. You have empowered us. You are walking with us. You are for us. God, help us to get our head around that. That we are not alone in this world. That we are filled with purpose. That when we walk out of the darkness into your light, you have mercy on us. You are empowering us. You are leading us. You are guiding us. God, let us walk like that. Let us walk in that expectancy. Let us live in that truth. And let that truth transform our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. All of that is true about you and how God feels about you. Now let him do that work in and through you. And I'll see you tomorrow.